So uh, the proposed tau model, the, it's relatively simple now in this preliminary stage compared to the fee. Uh, we have the same uh, tau log logic tree to both Diablo Canyon and Palo Verde. It's a magnitude dependent central branch, plus and minus 0.12, and I will explain how I got these magical numbers in a little bit. Uh, so the, this is the set of models that were evaluated for tau. So Grazer and Calcan goes out because they haven't published their fee and tau. Zhao et al. modified, I think it's just based on Zhao 2006, so it's the same. Idris does not have fee and tau. So we end up with a set of four NGA West 2 models, Zhao, and the th uh, two European models, Akar et al. and, and uh, Bindi et al. And we compare, so basically the central branch is based on uh, averaging the models for uh, the four NGA West 2 uh, GMPs and Zhao. And I compare um, to uh, the Hanford models as well as the tau for the two European uh, GMPs. So basically here I took advantage of the work that Adrian did in Hanford and I simply repeated it. So I have to give him credit for that, for making my life easier. So for the tau model, like I said, we've got a magnitude dependent model. We average the variances for uh, ASK14, BSSA, CB, CY, and ZAO, uh, and averaging only NJ West 2 models for periods beyond five seconds because ZAO does not go to long periods. The magnitude, so the two things I will discuss are the ma magnitude break of the proposed model as well as the smoothing of tau versus period. <coughs> so when, when we look at uh, the tau models versus magnitude, and this is at a period of one second, we see that um, the NGA West 2 models break at different magnitudes, and Zhao is constant with magnitude. So when we simply average those variances of the five, we get a model that now has three magnitude breaks and four linear segments. So to simplify it, we are going to take one magnitude break at seven and the other magnitude break at uh, 5.25. So our proposed model is the dashed line now. So it overestimates really the average over magnitudes of what, f about 5.25 to seven slightly and it underestimates a little bit for magnitude less than 5.25. And Linda, why did, I think you told me this before, but why did you move it to seven point or five and a quarter? Instead of? Instead of, wasn't it 5.5 .5 where you had the break? Uh, yeah, I mean, just because not to underestimate a little bit. Le I mean, I could have. It's You're kind not of a big trying deal. to make it s smoother in the five and a half range, or what is it? I just tried not to underestimate too much. Uh, and I know it's not very important because it's magnitude five to five and a half, but you basically are saying that we go from seven pretty much along this slope because right. it will be anchored here and then it would go down. Or, or go straight across or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, I don't have like a really strong reason for doing it this way versus another way as you're describing. Uh, so this is now the proposed tau model uh, versus magnitude. And tau one, tau one and tau two um, versus period will be averaged for the five models at uh, magnitude 5.25 and magnitude of seven. So let's look at the magnitude 5.25, which is the first break. You'll see here the four NGA West two models. So the ASK14 has a constant um, tau versus period. Uh, the CY14 has a smooth, uh, you know, period dependence, and the others, I guess, they didn't smooth their period dependence. And this is Zhao uh, here in blue. It's lower. So when I simply average all these uh, five, I get the black line. So one thing that comes up is this bump uh, uh, around 0.1, slightly lower. So what to do with the bump? Uh, because Bob show, did some analysis and showed that the bump can be related to side effects mapped into the event variability, I smoothed through it 
and went with a simply constant tau versus period. And so the dashed line is the proposed tau model uh, versus period at magnitude 5.25. Linda, I have a question. The Zhao model is very low, right? Yeah. And uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know how credible is uh, that. So if you ignore that, then I the average is certainly goes up. Slightly higher, yes, yes. I, I mean, I guess we need to look if there is a reason to ignore it. It's his model that uses crustal and subduction. So uh, this is the tau 4 crustal, but I don't know if there is any trade-off in the data. I think it's also based on something other than VS30. Yes, right. It uses a site period type mm -hmm. of... But, yeah. But this, this, this is, is the event, event terms, term, yeah. which we hope aren't, aren't, aren't too correlated with that. That's a small number, right, that he's got, but it's not. Uh, at five and a half, that's a small number. Did you have it at seven? Yeah, I do. So here is the seven. Now he is not as low. Yeah. But is, is his. Can you go back? Is I, I his guess magnitude independent? Then? Yeah, so his, his is constant with magnitude, ah. but the NGA West 2 yeah. models come yeah. down at right. 7. The magnitude independent, and, and he has mostly above 6 data yeah, in he, there, right? So he doesn't have a lot of small ones, so that would explain it. Yeah, you can see here. So one alternative is that included for large magnitude, excluded for small magnitude. Alternative. Mm hmm Right, but yeah. it doesn't really help you that much because it's almost the same at the large magnitudes and it doesn't really extrapolate back to the low magnitudes. Yeah. Yeah, you can see him here versus magnitude. Okay, so at magnitude 7, I did the same thing and the averaging uh, resulted in the bump and I smoothed through it with a constant. So this is my proposed tau 2. Uh, for the... So this is the central uh, tau branch for the epistemic. In summary, I think tau, your tau two it's good. It makes sense. Tau one could be low. is a little bit low because the uh, Zhao is uh, low, basically. Okay, I will investigate how it changes if I take it out. Also, it seems to me that even if you smooth things out, you still have a, a trend towards increasing tau with the period. Yeah, I mean, so s some people like Norm smoothed it with a constant. Uh, the CY smoothed it with a ramp up like that. Yeah, I mean. So I, I don't know what is the better way. But I mean, the majority of what's shown there would have a bit of an angle to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, <coughs> yeah, it could be going basically similar to this shape, but right. scaled down. Yeah, if you just followed the black line with the dotted line, right, it would yeah. slope up. I mean, maybe the NGA West 2 developers can comment on what's the best way <laughs> to go over period. Yeah, if, if, if you do discount shallows in this case, then yeah, they all show an upward trend with period that you probably need to capture. I'm not sure if that's true for the large magnitudes. Yeah. But okay. see, his since the Yao one is so low there, it's going to drag down your mean quite a bit. Yeah. Here it appears, you know, around a constant, except for CB, I guess, it's trending up. Where's your constant? I'm sorry? Where's your constant? My constant Next. is here. Yeah, yes. push the button. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that is obvious, but it's still, again, being dragged down by Zhao, yeah. who has, even at these magnitudes, very small. Yeah. It, 
you know, the, at long periods, it seems to be pretty small. Yeah. Yeah. Proposed central model. Central right? model, yes. Uh, for the epistemic uncertainty, I basically used what we did for Hanford, and Adrian there evaluated the epistemic uncertainty on Tau by considering the between model uncertainty uh, of using 4NGA West 2 models and also the within model uncertainty the statistical uncertainty informed by uh, the CY14 uh, tau. And so that's the estimation uncertainty of tau for CY14, and he combined these two. Um, <clears throat> so this is what he, he had uh, for Hanford. This is tau for magnitude 5.25. This is magnitude 7. The red is his central tau branch, and then the dashed ones are the upper and lower. Um, and these are the 5th and 95th percentile. So I did not redo this analysis. I just looked at it and, 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 looked and saw that on average a delta tau of 0.12 is what he has up and down. And that's what I used for now. But I think that I will uh, repeat this with the five models, you know, estimate the model-to-model -model variability and apply some estimation uncertainty and and get the, um, the two branches. But for now, uh, we're using 0.12, so plus or minus 0.12. This is equivalent to the fifth and 95th percentile branches. So this is how we got to this logic tree. Uh, so now, uh, let's put all the uh, five tau models at magnitude 5.25 and magnitude 7 versus period. So these are the colored lines. My solid black uh, lines are just the uh, central proposed tau model, and the dashed lines uh, show the upper and lower branches. So you can see that it covers uh, here everything above all models. On the lower one, BSSA sticks out a little bit. For magnitude 7, it covers all models. This is basically 1.6 sigma. Comparisons to other models. So here I, I put our models in black, and I am putting here the Hanford models that Adrian developed in gray. So you see here, um, he, he has smoothed over period with this uh, kind of uh, a smoothing function instead of a constant. So he, he goes up at high period. He also did not have Zhao, which dragged things down a little bit. So I put here all the models that were used in developing uh, this logic tree, plus the Akkar et al. and the Bindi Tau models. And these are the dashed lines now. And they kind of are captured within the um, epistemic uncertainty range of the tau model that we have. That that again, you're asking what um, a car? No, his his fee is higher, right? Cows are not comparable. Yeah, yeah, they weren't bad. Say that again. That was their conclusion that the difference between what they were getting in NGA was primarily in fee. They're larger. They, he had just compared sigmas, the, the right? Small the small magnitude, pieces, I right. guess, is what they said was driving their, driving their fee high. It's more than small magnitude. It, it's other stuff. Okay. And we talked about yesterday what it could be. Yeah. All right, questions on the Tau models? Any other comments, questions? No? Okay, otherwise, I think we're going to just... Any other qu comments for what 
um, and just talking about questions? No. Okay, I'm not going to ask again so we can move on.